Yeah, guys, just before this video starts, just want you just to excuse the, the fogginess in the start of the video. Either when I got the camera out and changed the batteries over, uh, some moisture got into the, to the case and made it go a little bit foggy. Um, it was either that or Miro's Tinder was heating up the car. So, uh, yeah, just excuse that at the start of the video. Um, it starts to, starts to go near the end and by the end of it, we're all back to normal. Hope you enjoy the video. Right, gonna do a little car chat. I haven't pre-walked them, so God knows what they're going to come out with. I was just on Tinder. <laughs> Miro was just on Tinder, so if he could just put... Well, you don't even have to put Tinder down if you don't want it. Oh, good. We'll do a little car chat. <laughs> Golf on camera car chat. I've done one of these with Peter on our way back from uh, his lesson with Matt. Uh, so, car chats, just chat about golf, chat about different things. Just come up with some random subjects and see if we can come up with anything interesting, something that breaks through what, what everyone else talks about. So... What about odd people on dates? <laughs> about what? Odd people on dates. Odd people on dates. What about a fella going out with two couples? Yeah, what about a fella going out with two couples whilst England are playing Germany? I think that's very natural. <laughs> that's very natural. <laughs> if you're comfortable in yourself, I think it's very okay. Right, okay. Okay, being the fifth wheel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it seems we're coming back from the Belfry. Uh, Belfry would be a good subject to start with. So, what do you think of the Belfry as an overall experience of the day? Not of, not just the golf. Obviously, the clubhouse, the pro shop. We've been there obviously at the start of last month. So, what do you think of the Belfry as an overall sort of venue to go over and play golf? The golf course is good. The clubhouse is good. The only downside to it is. It is extremely overpriced Sweet. for the food and for stuff the food like that. Drink. It's just it's just silly, mate. Yeah. They know you've got nowhere else to go, yeah. so they charge what they want, and you're, you're paying sort of thirty quid for something to eat and a drink yeah. that you pay a tenner for anyway. Yeah. You know, just... I mean, the, the, the food's good and the drink's good. I mean, you, a pint of pint of Bex is the same wherever you go, really, isn't it? Some obviously. If you go... To be fair, the drink prices today seem cheaper. Five drinks, I know they were. Yeah, or shandy. It's not sixteen quid, yeah. but yeah. But if if you buy if you buy like five or six beers, it becomes a little bit more expensive. Yeah. But yeah, I mean the, the food's good. I mean you pay a lot of money for the food for what it really is. I mean like a club sandwich is like fifteen quid or yeah. something, isn't it? So but it, it doesn't come with chips. So it's literally just a sandwich. It doesn't, it doesn't even come with a smile. That's doesn't it? Yeah, that yeah that girl this morning oh, had the shit. right after she. When, I walked, when we walked back in there, obviously you guys went up to the changing rooms, didn't you? I walked yeah. straight in, waiting at the bar, and she dropped one of the bottles of sugar. Good. Oh, <laughs> she, yeah, all over the floor. That is karma. <laughs> That's the only thing I'd say yeah. about the Belfry. Yeah. And they need to concentrate more on their stuff. Yeah. Just kind of get them because if you're paying that price, you want to yeah. have to have some. You want to, you want to please it. thank you with yeah. a smile yeah, at least. Not, not can I, not, not can I have a bacon roll? What? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. Have you started? You. It's not eight o'clock in the morning. How <laughs> dare you ask? How dare? But no, the um. Yeah, but to be fair, she, to be fair, she's a one-off. She was a one-off though. The rest. Oh, don't know, really. Really? I thought the other stuff were alright. No, the blokes are a bit. They were a bit. They were a bit samey as well. Yeah. They weren't really. Right. So as an overall kind of view of the Belfry, we're going golf good. Pro shop goods, couldn't knock any of that. Clubhouse goods, Even staff them, like, could do with some work and cheering up. And prices need to come down. Maybe you just need to match them on Tinder, Miro. <laughs> Maybe that's what needed to happen. If you had matched them on Tinder, they would have been a bit happy. <laughs> but yeah, there was a guy on one of the um, on one of the holes earlier. I'm sure he was coming through the night. It must have been the not eighth or ninth. I can't remember. Um, but he stopped in a little buggy where they just yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. got all the drinks and food. Picked up his sandwich, paid with paper, and it was three three pound ninety five. And uh, he went three pound ninety five. Holy shit! What the hell am I getting with it? <laughs> but Danny and Ray just just heard him say it and just started laughing. But then, but then three ninety five. I was going to say it's expensive. Yeah, four quid. Well, I mean, four quid for a sandwich. I mean, I had one of their sandwiches last time we was here, and I actually yeah. it was actually quite nice. Yeah. It, was quite, it was filled out sandwich. It's not like two bits of bread and a no, slice yeah. of ham. It's a decent filled out sandwich, but. Like I say, said, four quid. Goes, four quid for two bits of two bits of uh, bread and a bit of ham. Yeah. So it's only it's only price really. It's yeah. the only thing you can fall and the, the staff needed to match Miro on Tinder. They would have been well happy with that, wouldn't they? 
today would have been well out for you. Catch. <laughs> there he is, it's Miro. <laughs> That's that Chris. I feel I'll turn up everywhere, no one knows who I am. He's getting a t-shirt. I'm going on camera. Who? Who's he? Oh, Intel. 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 Oh, more traffic. What is it with traffic? So, yesterday, I know the weather was nice yesterday, but Lamborghini was looking in good, Nick, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was awesome. awesome, Nick. And I, and I have your shorts on. But Nick had his shorts on. No one needs to see that. No, no, one, no one needs to see that, trust me. It's not very nice. I know, did we, oh yeah, we did catch you off with your shorts because you were last year old, wasn't it? I didn't shank one. <laughs> shanked one. Sally Gunnell. Sally. And I was, sti and I was still going further was, than you were. Yeah, I was still going further than you, Miro. I think I won something. Yeah. Wait to see that video. That <laughs> yeah, wait till one. you see the uh, golf on camera challenge on 30, nearest to pin in net three. Miro never got over the water. He turned up. He turned up. I'm not even going to talk about it. No, he, he don't want to talk about it. I mean, Nick, there's two people that don't. There's two people that don't want to talk about their golf round here. Yeah. But, but no, going back to that verse. Yeah. We moan about the greenness of our but yeah. that's why. That's why they protect yeah. us. Yeah, like I mean we've been on we've been on temporary greens. They've done they've dug them up a bit, but the the condition they're in now, you just can't fault them for for March. But it's the whole con it's the whole course. Like them saying you're not allowed trolleys. You're not yeah. you know we want you to carry or the hedgehog wheels. Yeah, it's yeah. all protected. So the fairways look good. The rough looks good. Everything looks good. Yeah, because they're that, thinking ahead of it. You know that rain. That, the are still quick. that course yeah. in the summer. Greens, fairways, and stuff—you can't beat it. No, you know it really is as simple as that. No, I mean, obviously, Miro's not played there in the summer. No. We obviously no, no. did last summer, but I still think for a 55 quid, that's a bargain. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a bargain, absolute yeah. bargain, mate. So you, you, there's a lot of clubs around that way where you pay more than that, yeah. and they don't look after the course half as good as as uh, Lambros do. Five pound around, yeah. The course was nowhere near. <coughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're gonna they're digging the greens up again yeah, in yeah. the start of April, but um, but most golf clubs do. But right, most right? golf clubs do, and by the end of May, when we or the whenever the May bank holiday is, that we play our uh, tees trophy, the greens are always perfect. Yeah. Running, running at like twelve on the stint in May, and lot like perfect. So they they always do it at a good time. But the, the the people that they've got running it, the green keepers, things like that, they know. They know the golf course, they know how the golf course repairs. Yeah. And they, they do it the same every year and every year it just turns out alright. So they're just showing them there and they're just chopping into them. Yeah, I mean they they do holiday, so they put no, big holes no, yeah, and then they drill it in, but each each golf course will probably recover at a different rate. Whether it's because obviously Lambros is sort of a parkland, it, it might recover quicker than a Lynx golf course yeah. because it soaks in the moisture and there's more moisture in the in the ground. So They've obviously over the X amount of years they've worked out where it takes six weeks for them to do it, so they do it seven weeks before their first major comp. So last say when every golf, every big golf day we have the grid's always perfect, so they know what they're doing about there, so we just trust them now. If they say we're digging it up, it's go, yeah, that's fine. Sacrifice, we sacrificed four four weeks of bad greens to have really good greens for the whole summer. And then like Nick said the fairways are still in good it's because they protect it. We, yeah. we, moan, we moan that we're not allowed to use certain things in the winter and not allowed to do certain it's things. Moan about lying. Yeah. <laughs> Just moan about lying. I do it so well. But if you look at the Belfry when we played up there oh. at the start of February, yeah. they was bad, weren't they? Yeah. I mean, today, so what, how many weeks is that? We were eight weeks? Six weeks? Yeah, it's probably six. And yeah, they're, six more less, so. they're more or less back. And how quick were they in, oh, in places? Yeah. They were rapid, rapid weren't they? The rain. Yeah. Even with the rain last night, they was they was really good. So it only takes great sort of eight, six to eight weeks to yeah. fully repair and be back yeah. to normal. But that's how it should be, isn't it? It's, you know, if you're a member of the golf club, you want it looking decent. Yeah. yeah. You know, because you want to bring your mates there and go, look, this is what I've got. Exactly. You know, it's... But the other thing is, you want if, when you when you have matches against other courses, you want their members to come and go, oh, I've got really good greens, they're much better than ours. That's, that's the only downside I think with Lambert, because Lambert
uh, and then the line of foursomes or sank on the other one and then you had you had all three nines up and that's your score yeah. for the thing obviously That'd everyone cool. that plays in it so yeah just get, get a pair question, and then question for you what then? if it's between green sims and foursomes green sims you both tee off and then yeah. choose the best drive and play alternate shots right. foursomes is just alternate shots and alternate tees so yeah, so I'd, I'd, I'd take the odd tee shots and you'd take the evens right. and it's alternate shots where right. green sums you both tee off and pick the best and one. pick the best one and oh, then okay. just go from there so green, green foursomes we play Ken scratch foursomes because the better players are more reliable to get you in the hole then you do it that way but if you're playing uh, I mean, I'm not saying Lou's a bad golfer, but yeah. if you and Lou, uh, yes, you are Lou. Yeah, but if you and if you <laughs> if you and Lou played foursomes against me and Nick, yeah. it's more likely that one of you's aren't going to you get maybe three or four times you're going to be out of position off the tee. Yeah. So Greensons be good for you and Lou because you get two shots of the tee shot and then choose the it best depends, one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So at least you're in the hole from the start. Mind you, we did our best not to be in the hole from the start a few times today when we was playing that, playing that match. I thought it was pretty safe, wasn't we? Really? Yeah. Yeah, first one. You went in the bunker, I went in the fair one. <laughs> Second. The whole, the whole before we started doing the green suns, we were standing there and I was like, I think you can carry that water. And Nick was like, I'll just bail out up the right hand side with six on and pulled it straight in the water. I was like, they didn't like it, didn't you? Who hit that? Um, it was a massive drive. I think it was the third. Uh, Oh no, that was uh, 14, wasn't it? Uh, was it 14? The, the short par 4? The one after yeah, the, the one toilet, the one with the toilets by it, on yeah, the tee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, was it you? <laughs> of course it was. Do you know what, your, your old man goes, no one is going to drive, that must be someone's second shot, no one is going to drive it that big. Yeah. There was wind, wind assisted, but it was... Oh yeah, it was wind I mean, I was It right. was 340, I, it was, the hole was 400. And I had 62 yards in, I think. I mean, I had, I had 100 yards in. You, yeah, you just had yeah. it over the bunker where um, Danny yeah. was. Yeah, I mean, I was, quite, I was quite a long way past the bunker. Yeah, yeah. But I, 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 that was probably my best hit of the day. I, a few times a day, I tried overeating it a bit. But that one, I swung a bit within myself and I got a proper flight. Yeah, and yeah, obviously downwind. Cool. And it just went out. Yeah, it was, I think it was 340. I don't know how much roll I got on it, but... I've said quite a lot. <laughs> pitched at 240, run 100. <laughs> Called a pass. But yeah, I would imagine that probably pitched at say 290. So maybe get 50 yards, but I'll say because I was going over the bunker, I couldn't see where it pitched and rolled to. But yeah, when I walked down there, so I bushed old um, Ollie at Snapper off the tee, and he had 197, I think. And then I walked down, bushed the ball to 65. I was like, yeah, guns. But yeah, he snap hooked it. But he's. But you think like a high ball flight, he, he wouldn't he wouldn't be that that I long know. into wind. I did notice that yesterday at driving range. Yes, yeah. he's high. Yeah. yeah, but you would you think like into wind he wouldn't be that wouldn't yeah, be that yeah. long. And on the, one of the foursomes holes, um, uh, greensomes holes, I knocked the flight down on my driver and I nutted it. Then it was just dead straight. Didn't get affected by the wind at all really. And he hit like this high high draw. Good drive down the middle of the fairway. Walked up there and it was like thirty yards past me. Up. So it just proves that you can hit it high and, and yeah. as long as you get the right flight but because it's quite a high ball here for probably four or five other drives other than that the wind just ended up taking them because you don't get a proper connection on it and you don't get hit the proper shot the wind just buffers it all over the place. So there we go, the light is bad once we're going a long long way there. Yeah, but they, yeah, but the thing is, when you play into wind, any sort of miss strike is. Yeah, it's I mean that, yeah, I mean that 160 yard five I know, I tried to hit, and I just come out of it a little bit, and as soon as it got up in the air, it just stalled, yeah, then yeah, started yeah. drifting right and went in the lake. So, is it, but it was literally only just like one groove out of being a decent strike, but because it had loads of spin on it, it just wind just got it, and that was it, gone. And you hit seven. And hit it further than my five on, but you got a decent flight. I only ended up on the front of the green, didn't it? But because yeah, you got the proper flight. The 17th was the. Did it have any whip in front of the green? No. Did it have one no, no, but that's the hole. That, that's. Must have been 16. That's the hole where I put it in the late short right. There's another hole coming. I was 110 yards, yeah. hit a 9 iron, and it came up very short. I hit a very good 8 iron, which I normally hit at 150. It just, just hit just. Within 15 feet of the pin. Really? That's how windy it was. Yeah. Well, well, 
that uh, par five going up the hill, not 13 for the toilet, I had one. 140 something, 147, yeah. and I like uh, punched down six iron and got, I made it flag high, didn't I? I flag high yeah. about 20 yeah. feet left. Well, six iron's like 170 club. I know it's a little bit uphill, but that's not 30 odd yards. It was playing further than than that, and that was with controlling the flight. That was, yeah. If I, if you wanted to hit it high, I would have had to hit like five iron or something. Yeah. Well, we'll cut that. Uh, car chat off there since we've talked for 20 minutes. Amazing. Yeah, it was literally it was 20 minutes gone. So, I hope you enjoyed that car chat. Just basically what we chat about. Just thought we'd catch a little bit of it. If uh, Make sure you comment down below if you enjoyed the car chat or have anything to say on anything that we said. Um, remember to thumbs up the video. If you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. There's going to be lots of videos coming out do a few more of these car chats just so you can see the crap that we talk to each other and how uh, we tell each other we're really good at golf that when, polite, that and oh yeah that was polite that conversation nick get your ball out we all know you've owned a shot today <laughs> it wasn't even a hole in one got him smiling quick oh uh, no yeah he is a smiler no no well, that's all right we can screenshot that later on you didn't phone. get his smile you got his double chins it's all good <laughs> yes <laughs> did you buy that medium top anyway <laughs> Yes. So yeah, well, we cut it off there. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you again soon. See you later. Peace. Bye. Peace.